Okay, we are on uh, the fifth credit of Algebra 1A, and we're on page 5 here for 11, uh, Lesson 11.1, 11 .1, Solving Linear Systems by Graphing. And I will let you read that Explore 1A section on your own, but in question 1, we are asked to determine whether or not this, uh, this point right here is a solution to a system of equation and all that means is is the point 2 comma negative 3 on both of these lines here so let's do one at a time so let's do equation number one first and all we're going to do is plug it in plug in the point into the equation and if it comes out with a true statement then we know it's on the line so let's do x equals 2y plus 8 and instead of the x I'm going to put that 2 equals 2 times negative 3 plus 8 2 equals, what is this, negative 6 plus 8, and yes, in fact, negative 6 plus 8 equals 2, 2 equals 2, therefore, this checks out, this is a true statement. So let's try the second equation as well, 2x plus y equals 1, and let's plug in the values here, 2 plus negative 3 equals 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus negative 3 equals 1, so 4 minus 3 is 1 equals 1, and this checks out as well, so we can say yes. Yes, that 2 comma 3 uh, is, or let me see, let's say it is a solution. There you go. Okay, um, and in this next section for Explore 1B, I will let you read it, but Basically, I, I have arrows here from when I was reviewing this before, but um, there's three types of systems of equations here. There's the first type uh, where you have one solution, and one solution is where when they intersect at one point. The second type is when they have infinitely many solutions, and that's when you have two lines right on top of each other, and because of that, any point you pick will fall on both lines, So, and it'll fall on both lines at at infinite points on both lines because they're right on top of each other so uh, that's the second type the third type is one with no solution when you have um, when you have oops, two lines that are parallel to each other and because they're parallel they will never intersect at any point so um, those are the three types and, and here uh, questions A, B, and C, they just ask you, what does it mean when you have two equations that intersect exactly one point? Well, you only have one solution. Uh, question B, how many solutions when you have infinitely many points? Well, you have infinitely many solutions. And question C, how many solutions does the system have if the two equations do not intersect? Well, none. They're parallel. So, um, pretty simple to understand, um, but like most things, we'll, under we'll get a better understanding as we do more of these problems. Um, so the next section here is going to be on page eight, I believe, and on page seven you're gonna you're gonna see the explain one uh, a section, which I will let you read. But we're gonna do together here on question number one. So follow along if and check your answer if you need to, or if you want to hear my long-winded explanation, feel free to do that as well. So we need to find the x and y intercepts of this system of equations. So let's let's work with this first one. X plus two y equals 4. So let's find the y-intercept first by uh, finding when x equals 0 plus 2y equals 4. This goes away and so we have 2y equals 4. Divide both sides by 2 we get y equals 2 since those simplify out and we get 2. So here's the first point 0 comma 2 when x is 0 y becomes 2 and let's find uh, when the x-intercept here when y equals 0. So x plus 2 times 0 equals 4 and this was nice and easy 2 times 0 is 0 so we get x equals 4 which means 4 comma 0 so here's the other inter intercept the x intercept there um, and we're gonna graph these in a second so hold on to those let's make the next uh, equation a different color 3x minus 2y equals negative 12 so let's find the y-intercept first 3 times 0 so the y-intercept you find by making x equal to 0 by the way um, so this becomes negative 12, this goes away, so we have negative 2y equals negative 12. We divide both sides by a coefficient of negative 2, we have y equals 6. So when x equals 0, y equals 6. And let's do the same thing for the 
um, for the uh, y or the x-intercept here. So 3x, uh, sorry, 3x minus 12, or sorry, not 12, minus 2 times 0 equals negative 12. Uh, this goes away, so 3x equals negative 12. Divide both sides by the coefficient of 3, we get x equals negative 4, so negative 4 comma 0 is our other point. So let's graph those. Um, oh no, we're not actually graphing these, we're just checking to see um, whether or not um, whether or not um, or sorry, we're, we're checking to see the x and y intercepts and then uh, we need to solve these. Let me see. Oh no, we are, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. We are graphing these. Oh, we already did this. Oh my goodness. I, I, I apologize. So x and y intercepts are going to be 0, 2. Oops, I should keep the color con consistent here. So 0, 2 and 4, 0. And for the other one, it was what, 0, 6 and negative 4, 0. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph these. 0, comma, 2 is right here, and 4, comma, 0 is right here for that blue line. So let's go ahead and draw a nice line that kind of does this, like that. Um, I'm going to move this over a little bit so it kind of does that. Um, oops, okay. And then let's do the other one. Let's do this in green. With, so 0, comma, 6 is right here. Negative 4 comma 0 is right here. So we need something that is in between these two points like that. So let's go ahead and move this over as well. And if we did this correctly, we should find the intersect point right here. Right? Let's change the color. The intersect point is going to be right here at negative 2 comma 3. So we say that the point of intersection is negative 2 comma 3.